Hey everybody, welcome to Brick Vault. Today is another LEGO Weekly News Update. Last Saturday, there was a huge amount of news to report on for the summer 2020 wave. And naturally, there's a little bit of a lull this week considering a lot of the larger stories came out uh, before. So this is gonna be a little bit of a short and sweet episode. Before we jump into the first story, if you are at all interested in LEGO custom building, feel free to check out our web store, www.brickvault.toys. We sell high quality in instructions for building some amazingly detailed models and we work with designers from all over the world. It really helps support what we do, helps support the designers we work with. And now let's jump in to the first story. The Monkey Kid teaser is now revealed on Twitter. It's kind of odd reporting on this considering there have been a huge amount of videos already on the quote-unquote leak even though it didn't really count as leak it doesn't matter this means the official pictures are coming down the way very soon and then later in the week we got a lot of these posters from Lego Hong Kong we have some different silhouetted characters for the theme now their names maybe descriptions Alan Tran at the Brick Fan seems to have both and if any of you saw the earlier pictures or uh, those massively popular videos already talking about it personally this uh, uh, whole monkey kid theme sort of reminds me of the original Dragon Ball TV show. Anyways, let's move on. The review stage, the first review stage for 2020 is officially closed and there are 26 projects that qualify that have to be reviewed by the ideas team. Theoretically, that means these guys have to make 26 different models that try to recreate the original. And depending on their viability, there will be a handful of designers very hard at work trying to turn these things into projects that can actually get produced by LEGO as an official set. It's really hard for me to say what I think should win or what could win. I'm kind of hoping for any of the modular style buildings. Krusty Krab looks cool. Maybe Castle in the Forest has a fighting chance if they try to relate it to previous castle theme sets and I don't know there's actually a lot of pretty solid ones here so I have a feeling the ideas team certainly has their work cut out for them personally I'd like to see them actually expand the team so they can really give a fighting chance to as many of these sets as possible anyways let me know which set you think would be cool or would be fun to have turned into an official one from this list below and then here is a little tiny itty bitty teaser video from Lego about the new upcoming Technic Lamborghini set, set number 42115. The set is supposed to be available for VIPs June 1st, general public August 1st. So we'll be getting pictures of this pretty soon, I have a feeling. Also, Lego announced a change in the board of directors, which is kind of interesting. It's not really going to affect us directly, at least not anytime soon as consumers. But the official announcement is that the CEO of Teva Pharmaceutical Industries left the board while the Netflix board of director in Sweeney joins Lego. Some people are wondering if this is going to have an effect on maybe certain licenses, media licenses being more easily accessible to the company. Who knows? Things have already changed up a little bit with the announcement of the partnership with Universal. But once again, that's just uh, small rumblings that will have effects on us maybe years down the line. Here's some more artwork for the Skywalker Saga Lego video game that will be hopefully coming pretty soon. I have a feeling this will probably be one of the most popular LEGO video games to come out in a very, very long time. The Mother's Day card building event has been happening. I think it lasts up until the 10th. Alan Tran at thebrickfan.com has the building instructions posted over at his website, plus a link to all the different pieces if you wanted to order them on Bricklink, or maybe check them with your original catalog. I have a feeling you wouldn't be able to get the pieces shipped to you in time. Maybe you could. Maybe if you did it today, you could get the actual parts or switch out the colors for pieces that you already have in your collection. Anyways, that was it, short and sweet, little Lego news weekly update. There's a few rumors and or leaks that I didn't bother to mention in this video, but if you guys wanna check out our top 10 mocks of the week tomorrow, that is coming down the way. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time at Brickwell.